You're looking at a picture of thin steel bars in front of a cockpit door. That's a security measure that doesn't yet exist in American airliners. But some say that it should. In fact, they say it's long overdue, nearly 13 years after 9-11. And that's our unfinished story tonight. Malaysian investigators said this week that all 227 passengers on Flight 370 have been cleared of any wrongdoing. That does not include the 12 crew members. The truth is, we don't know and we may never know if someone who didn't belong in that cockpit broke into it four weeks ago tonight. Malaysian Airlines say it has increased cockpit security in the wake of Flight 370, but my next guest says they're still far behind U.S. airlines in this respect. Captain John Barton is a pilot for a major airline, also a legislative representative of the Airline Pilots Association, ALPA for short. And Mr. Barton, let me begin as a matter of fact by discussing ALPA because ALPA today released a press statement and they called for several improvements, but two things that they did not call for. They did not call for increasing the two hour recording capabilities, nor did ALPA call for cockpit uh, uh, placing of cameras in cockpits. Can you speak to those two issues? Why not increase the length of time that would be recorded from the two hours? Well, uh, Mike, uh, uh, obviously you know that I've been working legislative issues with the Coalition of Families and uh, Ellen Saracini uh, on the Hill. But uh, those two issues there, uh, it, it wouldn't a video camera in the cockpit or increased video or voice recorder time would not have any more answers to this uh, situation that happened with Malaysian Air. So uh, I don't know why we want to increase the uh, recording devices that are, are coming from the airplane already when we can't find